Hey there guys, and welcome to episode 8 of 15 Minute Makeover. The series where we, we repair a car uh, within 15 minutes with no money back guarantees. Now if you remember last time we actually did the FMW Panther, uh, knocking that out to 87%. And as you can see we're just clearing out the garage there. What have we got there? Mercedes. Mercedes Benz 300 SL. We're looking at the 40% mark, that's our magic number today. Quite an extensive repair on this one actually, so as you can see repair all engines. So quite a lot to get into today, so uh, we'll see how we go with time today. We may have to edit this a little bit to uh, to cut it down, but uh, we'll see how we go. Just throwing up our examination tools at the moment, just to see what we're looking for, whether there's any pistons or any internal parts that are going to need to be looked at. Pistons with Conrod, yep, he's going to need replacing so quite an extensive job to get all those engine parts off and, and get that out. Electronic meter coming up and just see what it's doing electronically. Alternator, battery, throttle, ignition coils, fuel pump are all shagged as well. So obviously they'll have to come out and get repaired or replaced. I'd say at 40% uh, most of them should be able to get repaired. But we'll see how that goes. But let's get into it. Let's start getting those those parts off. But as I said, only 40%, so a lot of these should be able to get repaired at their repair table. Those who don't will just simply replace. So when I get to it, I'll probably cut out the repair. You've seen me do all that before at the repair table. Not terribly exciting, but um, as I said, we'll see how we go with that. Uh, see how we go time-wise. So just getting those camshaft bearings out. Just a matter of taking out all the uh, as many parts as we can fairly quickly. Radiator coming out. Let's see the the belts and pulleys, water pump, crankshaft pulley, alternator. That's certainly certainly seen better days. The old alternator, water pump there. Excuse me. Oops. Timing chain, timing chain sprocket there. That timing chain should come out like there. Cam gear. Now this is actually a nice looking car. If I'm not mistaken, this is uh, one of those that come out in the last DLC. And it actually is. Once I've done up, they are a good looking car. Let's see what we need to take off with this manifold. The throttle comes off first. Unbolt those fairly quickly. Intake manifold. Now normally there's some sort of heat shield underneath that. Now let's get this uh, this part off now. Yep, that. Uh, that manifold cover has got to come off first. There we go. Now we can take the exhaust manifold off. Looks like most of that exhaust system is going to need replacing as well. So um, we'll get to that in a sec. We're looking for that. There's that piston that's uh, knackered. We're not going to be able to get that piston out until we um, get to it from the bottom. Pop it straight up on the lifter. Let's pop these wheels off and uh, get some of this gear off while it's up on the lifter. What we got here on this quarter? Yeah, that shocky system is uh, pretty well knackered. More rubber bushes. Good old trusty rubber bushes, so you can pretty well guarantee that uh, in most repairs those those rubber bushes will need uh, need replacing. So don't be shy on purchasing a, a heap of those. Shock absorber cap will need to come off. I'm not too sure about this shock absorber itself, so we'll look at that when we get to the repair. Uh, out of tie rod doesn't look too healthy either. I'm just taking this off just so we can get that sway bar out. Now 
And then the, uh, the one on the other side, let's say what that sway bar percentage is. 44%, so he would have been okay actually. Just looking for the oil pan. And again, uh, we can get the oil catcher and put it in position and, and uh, catch the oil, but hey, I'm lazy, can't be bothered walking to the other side of the workshop to get the oil pan, so we'll just drop it on the deck and uh, get penalised $100 for doing that, but hey, when you've got 147000 and change, well, it doesn't really matter. Just trying to get those crankshaft caps out. Once we get those caps out, then we can go back up top and get that piston out. Probably really don't need to take them all out, but it's just force of habit to, to uh, take them all out, and um, then you don't have to come back if you if you need to. Dropping the car back down. She isn't she a good looking, good looking car? We should be out of there. We go reach that piston. That's that six percent. Yep. No wonder that was uh, coming up as uh, knackered. Engine powers failed. Still got a couple of parts that we haven't found yet. Some running gear problems that we still haven't found yet. What have we missed? Oh, there we go. Part of the injection system. Twenty-six percent. He's going to definitely need repairing. Let's see what's in this car. Me, I'm wondering whether the uh, distributor. Twenty-two. Yeah, there we go. The ignition distributor is going to need repairing as well. So it's always those tricky parts that you uh, can't quite get to, or I don't think of it uh, often. Are our culprits? Just taking the fuel pump out there. Twenty-one percent. Yep, he's going to need being looked at. Find that uh, if the car's actually down on the left uh, and you click on that uh, rear wheel, then it's a lot easier to get to the fuel pump as opposed to having the uh, the car in the air. Often you can't re reach that fuel pump. That's sitting right in the middle of the, uh, the fuel tank. Chuck absorber's coming out now. And I'm wondering whether that uh, rear spring or rear spring coil cap needs to be... Let's have a look at that spring cap. Rear spring 41%. Uh, yeah. Okay, it's alright, so right. we'll, we'll get him fixed up anyway. Brake calipers, brake shoes. Ripping out fairly quickly. Rear wheel drive just so we can get to that rear knuckle. Fuel tank, axles, and the shock absorber. Good old trusty rubber bearings, rubber bushes, beg your pardon. At 41, that will um, we'll whack that back in. 1%, who cares? Let's see, repair all faults, found those, found those. Oh, we can replace the oil. Still got a part not found. Any running gear problems? So we've still got something in regards to the running gears that we haven't found yet. Often it's the most insignificant piss and little part. Actually, I wouldn't have wondering whether it's not a uh, coil U-bolt at the rear. Let's have a look here. Down the rear here. They look alright. Loose spring U bolt. Let's have a look at that one. Seventeen percent. That's what it was. I bet you if we go back, yep, that's exactly what it was. Okay, found, 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 right across the board. Fantastic. All right, over to our repair shop. Now I won't actually put you through that because it's quite an extensive repair. So here we, back, here we are back in the shop after all our repairs. Repairs are done, those that c couldn't be repaired or, or were broke during repair have been replaced. And it's just a matter of uh, getting all those parts back in. Starting with the pistons, cylinder head. Get back in there, wrong button. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's okay. 41%. Yep. Rocker arms going back in. Straight on top of the engine block there. Some of them are okay, but um, if it was my car, I certainly would have done those up. But it seems it's just a repair, and we only have to repair to the uh, 40%. Then he's going back in. Camshaft bearings. Uh, there's four of those, if I'm not mistaken, so we rip those in fairly quickly. Cam gear and let's go through these spark plugs. Okay, so that's the uh, ignition side of things done there. Cylinder head. Simply three bolts to. Uh, that down ignition wires oh that's nice to shine in you it's almost a shame to put new parts on it like that with the old old bits are still old and crusty but hey what can you do we'll get in the elite critter there we go timing chain and timing chain sprockets water pump pulley Time and cover. I'll tell you what, one thing that would make this uh, this game quite authentic is uh, you don't catch in too many games, uh, where's the swearing? You know, when you whack your finger with a hammer or you drop the spanner and you got to go looking for it or you drop a nut and, and you can't find the damn thing. Uh, those mechanics out there, uh, you know what I'm talking about. We've all been there. Anyway, back to the build. Looking pretty good. Let's get some of that exhaust on oh, yeah, the manifold. Popping on, on nice and shining new. There's the exhaust cover. Forty-four. Just making sure that that's the uh, meets our repair standards of forty percent. So um, that's why I just hesitated a little bit there. Throttle going back in. He got repaired up, if I'm not mistaken. Oil pan, we'll, have, we'll get that from the bottom. And that's in, in fact what we'll do. Popping the car back up on the hoist. Uh, let's get some of those parts back in. Mm, just having a sip of the obligatory coffee this morning. To get the heart started. Spring cap and uh, oh, sorry, spring and spring cap. Rubber bushes. Whoops. And that should be about it. Yep. On goes the tire, and we'll have a quick look around just to confirm. Around the other side. I don't want dismantle, we want assemble. Why can't I click on that? Try again. Assemble, that's what we want. Wrong button, Josephine. The sway bar, getting him attached up. Spring and spring cap going in. Add a tie rod, nice and new tie rod. And then finally the uh, Front wheel. We should be able to reach, yep. Reach that and then get the uh, the fuel filter, uh, sorry, the oil filter from here as well. The starter we'll have to do from the uh, from the engine bay. There we go, starter going in right now. Injection system. Easy as. 
ignition coils and we'll pop that car back up on the, uh, the hoist there and get these uh, the last quarter in uh, the, one of the rear quarters of it I should say what do we have here shock absorbers spring cap springs there we go spring cap rear spring No, I reckon I've forgotten to put that cap on. The fuel tank. Fuel pump just managed to reach it from there. As I said before, it's, it is a lot easier to, to reach once it's on the ground, but you can, depending on your angle, reach it while it's in there. It's not impossible, but it uh, just makes it a little bit more trickier. Rear axle going back in, he's quite fine, he meets our 40% uh, our value. Brake pads, calipers, straight back in, tire straight over the top of that. Fuel filter, battery remaining to go into there. Got quite a few greens there. This always gets me there, always trying to find that fuel filter. I should actually know this by now, but um, where is the damn critter? Change all, we need to do the oil as well. Fuel filter. Battery and fuel filter. There's the battery. Obviously missed, uh, missed picking up the battery there during our, our repair, so grab one of those, get rid of the old one out of the inventory. Now this always catches me out, how to get this battery back in, because it actually states that you need to be putting the battery in from the engine bay. And no matter how hard you click, or where you click, you cannot put the thing back in. As you can see, you click on the back here, you can't reach the uh, the battery. Now guys, just off camera there for a few minutes, so I just had to work out how to get this battery back in. It was just doing me head in, and uh, plus bragging on a lot of time. So, uh, just show you there how to actually get that in. I'll, I'll go through that again in a moment, but um, that was clearly doing me head in. What you need to do is actually uh, click to the left hand side of the, uh, the spare tire. But I'll show you that in a sec. We'll just get this uh, the oil in. We did ask for brand new oil. And of course we drained it when we dropped the uh, oil pan out and the oil went all over the floor. But that's fine. That's what the apprentices are for. As you see we've got greens across the board so that's fantastic. We'll look at those pots in a sec but I just wanted to show you this. So there's our battery obviously. Go into disassemble or dismantle mode just to take it out, just to, uh, to see it going back in. So pop the trunk, put your cursor just to the left hand side of that tyre and click once. Then press number two to assemble. Assemble, disassemble. To assemble it and obviously you just put it in as per normal your parts. So yeah, that was certainly doing me head in. But anyway, we've got greens across the board. Oh yep, don't wait for it, did that all the running repairs, all the uh, running gears rather, car is laid, all the exhaust systems, all up to 40%, so it gives us money spent of 2000, sorry, 3,276, bonus for completing 1,638, total earned 6,551. Thank you very much for your company, and we'll catch you next time.